So, you want to learn how to lucid dream. The first step you have to take is keep a dream journal. Now I know this step sucks. It's difficult to do. Sometimes you don't feel like you have time. But you need to do it. There's two big reasons why. First, you have to get better at dream recall. Think of it this way. What's the point of having a lucid dream if you don't even know you have it the next day? And the reason number two is because you need to learn your dream indicators. Every time you have a dream, there's some kind of indicator in that dream that could have told you that you were dreaming, you just didn't realize it. For example, I live across the country from my family, but I very often have dreams about my mom and my two sisters. Now, if I get to the point where I can realize as I'm having a dream about them that, hey, this is impossible because I've written it down in my dream journal enough times, pointed it out as an indicator enough times, then I can figure that out in my dream and become lucid in that dream. You may have other triggers. Maybe you dream a lot about going to the mountains or skiing. Whatever your dream indicator is, you need to recognize it and you need to point it out in every dream that you have. You can point out multiple dream indicators. There are some dreams that I have that are completely random, but I'll still pull out a dream indicator, like pigs were flying in the sky. That doesn't happen in real life. Obviously, I was dreaming. Step number two, you need to do reality checks. You can couple this with your dream indicators to make the two even more strong. So let's say you do dream about the mountains a lot, and let's say you also go to the mountains a lot. You do your reality checks while you're at the mountains. And thus, when you're dreaming about the mountains, you'll remember to do the reality check in the dream. Now, what is a reality check? A reality check means doing something that checks the reality of the world that you're in at that moment. There are certain things that you can do in dreams that you can't do in real life or vice versa. Now, most of the reality checks that I hear people talk about are checking words or clocks. You look at it, you look away, you look back. If it's changed, it's because you're dreaming. A lot of other people say you look at mirrors or you flip light switches because your appearance will be foggy in the mirror or the lights won't work when you flip the switch. Now, I don't really think these are great reality checks. Reason A, you need to do your reality checks at least 30 times in your real life. You're not always going to be around these things whenever you think to do the reality check. So what's the point in doing them? Reason number two, you might not be dreaming about a mirror or a light switch or words or clocks. If you're not dreaming about it, you can't do it. So, I use my hands. Your hands are always going to be with you in your dream. Unless you're dreaming that you're a slug. Why would you do that? Anyway, what, there are two reality checks you can do with your hands. You can count your fingers. If your fingers jump around, and look like they're glitching in some kind of way so that you can't count them or look at them properly at all. Or if you have difficulty remembering how to count them. Or if when you count them there are more or less fingers than is normal, you're dreaming. Now, you can also push a finger through your hand. Of course, you're not going to be able to do this in real life unless somebody shot you in the hand once but you can do it in a dream. Now you need to remember to do this, like I said, at least 30 times in real life. So if you need to, carry around some kind of remembrance to do your reality checks. Some people use little cards with mantras on them that they repeat to themselves. Some people use worry stones that they carry around. Okay, this isn't really a worry stone. It's just a rock I found in my yard. I like to, once again, do something I know I won't forget and that is always with me. I draw on my hand. That way, anytime I'm doing something, oh, I see that, I do my reality check right then and there. The more you do this, the more it'll be buried into your subconscious and the more likely you'll actually do it in a dream. 
Step number three, you can use lucid dream induction techniques. There's a couple of them. There's filed, wild, mild. I think there might be a few others, you know, just throw on some letters on the end, on the beginning of ILD. Make up your own, who knows? I don't really suggest wild. It has terrible side effects. If you can even do it, it's really difficult. If you don't believe me, go look it up. Look up sleep paralysis, scary, filed. I don't even remember what it was. I watched a video about it. It was like, I don't like that. I decided to go with mild. Mild is mnemonic induced lucid dreaming. Now I know that it's, it starts with an M and then you're like mnemonic. There's a silent M on the front. Now this basically means that you create a mantra for yourself that you repeat as you go to sleep to induce a lucid dream. A, you should never use the word lucid in your mantra. I don't know why they say that it doesn't work though. B, you should keep it 15 words or less. You want it as short as possible because you want it to be easy to remember. You want it to sink into your subconscious. I simply use, I am dreaming. I say this over and over and over again as I go to sleep. Now the last tip I have for you, make dreaming a priority. If you do this, it's going to make this so much easier. The more you think about lucid dreaming, the more you talk about it, the more you just have it on your mind or around you and, and have it in your conscious life, you are creating residue in your subconscious that will then be brought back out during your dream. Because most of what we dream is made up of day residue. So, the more you think about it, the more you talk about it, the easier it's going to be to think about dreaming and realize you're dreaming in your dream. Now, the best way that I do this is I actually watch videos for anywhere between 30 minutes and three hours before I go to bed about lucid dreaming. I'm going about my business, cleaning my house, doing whatever, and I have a video pulled up from YouTube, YouTube is awesome, about lucid dreaming in the background. Or I'll just sit there and watch documentaries about dreaming, specifically about lucid dreaming. Now the more that you can integrate this into your entire day, the better, but if you don't have time, do this for at least 30 minutes before you go to sleep. Last, I'm going to be making an awesome lucid dreaming poster that I can hang right there. And you don't really know what right there is, but that's the wall that I look at that's currently blank every time I go to sleep. Now, I'm going to be making this awesome poster and it's going to be all about lucid dreaming. That way, as I go to sleep, I can look at the poster, tell myself I am dreaming, and hopefully it'll make lucid dreaming even easier for me. I'll share that poster with you when I'm done. So I hope that you guys liked this video. If you did, actually like this video below and subscribe. See you later.